need to give a spoiler alert okay. here, like. Yeah. Don't watch this, obviously. Oh, we're going to watch the, We're going to put it in the video, aren't we, at the start? Yeah, but maybe spoiler even... Spoiler alert! Like, this is yeah. serious spoiler alert. Oh, this yeah. is serious stuff. They'll find yeah. us and they'll kill us if we, yeah. if we don't I mean, if you it. haven't watched the episode, this is talking points after the episode. Yeah, here. yeah, we're reviewing the episode. We're reviewing the uh, first episode of the new season of Game of Thrones called The Red Woman. Yes. Red Woman is obviously a reference to Melisandre, who is the, the Red Witch who has been... Basically now, she her, she's this big crisis of, of faith because the yeah. Lord of Light... Who she has asked Stannis to sacrifice his own daughter for, and sacrifice that person, that person, all these other things, yeah. didn't come through with the goods. Yeah, it's like a bad said, psychic. Do this, do this, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, it's like a really bad tarot card reader. Like yeah, <laughs> but but there have been things like through it that have been right because it, last time's episode, or sorry, tonight's episode was very interesting because she is this big crisis of faith because, as I said, her predictions or her visions haven't come fruition or so they haven't so far yeah but when you go back to King's Landing where Cersei who's now back out of um, being imprisoned by the, um, the High Sparrow mm. and she's receives Jamie back from Dorne with their daughter Marcella dead yeah dead the poison by the Sandsnakes and Cersei says the witch told me all three of my children would die and that I would bury them in gold or that they would have gold shrouds so on the one hand Melisandre herself has lost her faith but you see Cersei saying, well, actually, this prediction was oh, true. This I didn't was true. that now. I didn't yeah, you that see. Day. I didn't think it was all, wow, yeah, you yeah, see. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why you're paid the big bucks. That's what, that's what you pay me to come yeah. in. That's why you pay me good hard cash to do this kind of thing. Yeah. Um, so, uh, so that was very interesting. Now, the very end scene, we leave Melisandre, who, may I just say, is probably one of my favourite things about the show, for many, many reasons. Frank, many okay. reasons. That's not um, just that she took her kit off. Like we can no, one. Frank. No, no. So much no. more dirty talk now. We, no, there's talking, so much to talk I'm about I'm talking here. character development yeah, here. Okay. I'm talking about narrative arcs, okay? Right. Yeah. We're, we're, we're way better than that now. We're way beyond oh, that. Oh, we are. We're, 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 we're way more sophisticated. We're above that. I didn't you know? even notice yeah. she took a kit off. I'm looking for Shakespearean, Chaucerian and Dante-esque narrative drivers. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Melisandre, we see her at the very end. We see her take off her necklace yeah. and her clothes yeah. and she looks in her reflection and she suddenly becomes this very old hag. There's a yeah. really interesting little scene there. Did you see that like there's kind of a close up shot of like a little glass Mirror. potion or something oh, yes, on yeah, the table. The, yeah. Does that mean anything or is that just red herring? Well, you see, that's what I thought that maybe it was she was giving her youth away. Like, why did it show her? Was she always old? Is she, does she always look old? And she's just she, because she's a witch. She's been thousands of years old, and you're seeing her as herself. Like, or yeah. Well, I, th I think that is that is possible. But I'm wondering, is this just her equivalent of you know flossing the teeth and taking the makeup off? Is this is what she does before she goes to bed, okay. or is this her saying, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna take off whatever power is keeping me young, and I'm gonna call into bed and die and go because." The Lord of Light has, has has forsaken me or whatever, or he's turned his back on me, and I really hope that's not the case because I think he's an excellent character. Yeah, and but so can we talk about what the potential if that is true? Is something that, John Snow is not dead. He can't. There's still a chance. Why? Why can't he be dead? I, I don't know because I, maybe I'm, am I just being optimistic? I mean, like she did say it's something about him seeing him uh, fighting and there was flames and all this type of thing, and she and so she's really disillusioned that that didn't come true. But mm -hmm. maybe she, the problem is what she didn't see is that she needs to sacrifice herself in order for Jon Snow. It could be. It yeah. could be the case, yeah. Okay, I mean, Because yeah, yeah. I'm just wondering, you know, we sort of, there's this great emphasis on Jon Snow and he's done this and he's done that. Isn't he great? Doesn't he kick ass and all these kind of things? And he obviously has some massive role to play, or so we thought, yeah. until he got, you know, sliced and diced by his own men. Yeah. Um, but in the meantime then, in, in tonight's episode, we see... Sansa and Brienne hooking up, yeah, which was great. I mean, that was a great scene. I mean, I think Unbelievable. San Sansa is the one character who has just been put through the ringer in this whole show yeah. from the start, basically. Yeah, just from bad to worse to worse or to worse to, to, to horrible. Ever. And yeah, you thought, actually, yeah, uh, here we go. We still and really like, oh, it can't get any worse. Oh, she's being married to bloody Ramsay. I started shouting, bloody Will Bolton. Theon ever get a pair and uh, Nula points yeah, out. Grow a set of Theon yeah, grow and you well, know, get on with us, okay? But Nula points out they've been cut off. Like, oh, sure, okay. exactly. Yeah, it's, it's so of, maybe they regrew. Sales, you know? well, maybe they regrew because he did. Uh, but, he and it's not great like, because we're, yeah. so, we're so used in the show to. You know, to not seeing, to not seeing heroic interventions like yeah. that, where we're so used to just seeing, like you know, 
people just being dragged through the mud and then, you know, until they die or whatever. I just, are they really so, going to get her send her back? Is Theon really going to get more? Is he like, what can they do yeah. to him? Like? Yeah, as in, when, when he had his balls when he, when, he off, runs, really? when he runs over, he goes, oh, you run away and I'll distract them. Yeah. He runs over and he goes straight into the horse of the dogs. And, but did you see her, like, was uh, she not annoying the way she just sat there? I know, going, oh, yeah. what the, like, know, move, run, run yeah. somewhere, hide. Do like, you know, bury yourself <laughs> in the snow. Bury yourself in the snow. Totally. But it wasn't great that, you know, I said, oh, something has to happen here. This show cannot do this to us. Can't, yeah, no, can't, I mean, do can't be unbearable. And then I just heard the, <laughs> and I was like, I bet you that's Brienne. And, and Brienne's I knew, the best, like, I mean, oh my gosh, yeah. so cool. And Podrick, her squire, yeah, he's, he's been working on the train. He's yeah, been proud of him. Yeah. I, because I, I was thinking he's going to get skewered here, Podrick. Yeah, because. You know, Oh, it's Game of Thrones. It's it's to die. Someone, yeah. someone nice has to die in a bloody fight. No, he actually fought back and kicked mm. ass and yeah. held his own. Yeah. And then they have the honourable thing. I now serve you, Sansa Stark. Sansa Stark says, "Yeah, buddy, let's do this." Like yeah. Brienne, who is nice. Jesus, she didn't give when she slit that guy's throat. Like she didn't even think for one second that that guy was gone. Ah, yeah, but you wouldn't make Brienne's pint now. No, he wouldn't. No, he wouldn't. No, 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 no. Jesus, no. You know, she got three for shortcut now, you know. Yeah, Porrick helped her. You know, the way he kind of, like, yeah. she wasn't able to talk and he gave her a few nice words. Yeah, you know, yeah, like it's, it's good. And I think yeah. the show has been lacking that kind of stuff. It's been mm. lacking just a little bit of humanity, a little, you know, some rays of light. You know, we're talking about yeah. the, the Lord of Light is a band of the whole thing. But there are these other rays of light that the writers have obviously decided we have to start giving the audience a bit of something here. A bit After, of... A few crumbs, you and know. So you mentioned uh, Cersei. Obviously, she's had gone through the ringer for the last while as well. Deservedly so. Oh, so she's the a The mother wench. of all wagons. Oh, the like, mother. You know, and like, oh, she was even, God. you know, but there was a little bit of self-reflection that the, the child dying, she kind of said, that was my little bit of light. I, to prove to myself that I wasn't a monster, my yeah. daughter was. Yeah. But really, I am a monster. So take yeah, so maybe she's going to turn a bit of a corner now. Maybe she's going to say, maybe I do need to actually change the things because the, the witch said, all three, I bury all three of my children. I've mm-hmm. only got one left who's now mm-hmm. sitting on the throne. Maybe I do need to do something a bit different here. Yeah. And I thought it was interesting when, when Jamie arrives back with Marcella's corpse and she runs down onto the beach. You know, it wasn't this big, agonising, throw yourself on the ground, oh, my child... You could just see there was a bit of an acceptance. There kind of yeah. was, and I know she obviously. I thought had, it but she obviously hasn't seen it. Marcella for years. Marcella has been adorned for I, th- I think a few years now at this okay. stage. So there obviously was that thing, but still, just the principle of it, because you know Cersei doesn't like anyone except her kids. I think Jamie actually says that in in the show. Yeah. Um, but you could see her just saying. Right, the prophecy came true. She's obviously been dwelling on Because I thought poor old Jamie was going to get it again. Like, poor old, old Jamie's a warrior, but, like, when it comes to Cersei, he, he's a little bit of a, a pussy. Like, yeah, funny I mean, enough, I know. was expecting more from his character with the death of Marcella. I thought there'd be more out of him because he yeah. had this... Uh, the, you remember the last season, the way it ended? They had this revelation on the boat on the way back from Dorne himself and Marcella. They'd, he'd said, look, I have something to tell you. And she goes, look, I know, I know you're my father, and I'm really happy about it. I didn't remember that, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then you remember the, the the blood starts running out of her nose, and she keels over and dies from the poisoning. Oh. Do you remember that? Oh yeah. I was sweating a little bit more out of that, but sure. So what? Yeah. Um. So really yeah. glad Varys is back. He belongs he's, to he's the side. another lad who said the nuts cut off, has he? That's right, yeah. yeah he's yeah, he's yeah. been a unit for years, yeah. But, yeah, a, but yeah. a shifty, slithery whore, this guy. What's like, his you know? story? You never well, see thing, what's yeah. going on in the background with him. How does he know all these people? He's, he's, he's got a big network of spies. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's is that his? He, he, he trades in information. Information is his power, you know. He can't okay. fight, he can't do whatever, he can't shag. So yeah. information is his thing. But uh, he's a brilliant character. And I find him really hard to read. And he, yeah. he could be up to no good. Yeah. Still, you still don't know. And is he really Tyrion's friend? And is Tyrion really gullible enough to not see through? Because Tyrion is on the ball with that stuff. Tyrion does can smell a rat when when it's around. Him. Yeah, he can. usually he can. Anyway. I don't. I don't get him now. I do. I love his character. And I love the banter that he has. That just that very smooth, silky, you know, tit for tat banter he has with Tyrion. Yeah. And, uh, and it's great seeing him back beside Tyrion. Mm. But uh, I still don't know what he's up to. He could be up to absolutely no good. Or he could not be. Maybe he's just. The two of them walking down the street, though, and him commenting, you know, you walk these streets like somebody who owns them. I find that whole scene very tense, you know, that I was just like, why are you walking down into the ghetto, the two of you, with all these well, mad guys running around? The, time. the guys, yeah. the guys with, with, with daggers and masks, why are you doing that, you just, you know. Anyway, yeah. um, so that's all very interesting. Uh, Daenerys, of course, has been taken away by the Dothraki. Mm-hmm. Did you f- see this thing in the episode tonight where there was this kind of little, couple of little gags? 
thrown in. Go on, yeah. A couple of sort of Tyrion, you know, I, I one line or two by Tyrion, kind, of, kind of gags that were there. I mean, no, give them to me. Okay, well, the first one was okay, so um, Tristane, who is the, the Dornish prince who was meant to marry Marcella. And okay. remember the two sand snakes come onto the boat to kill him? His cousins, basically. Oh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they yeah, go, I won't yeah, go with yeah. the spear. And do you remember that? And they say, right, who's, who's turning it? They go, well, I'll, I'll fight you. Yeah. And the other one stands back, then with the spear. And it's just about to fight, and there's suddenly a spear through his through his, through his nose. And, and she goes, oh, you bitch, or something. No, you, is it you selfish? You're selfish cow. You're selfish cow, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was yeah. good, yeah, in fairness. But yeah. that, that was a little kind of, you know, what about what's going on in Winterfell with Ramsay Bolton and his father? Because that is going to be, there's a bit of patricide coming with that baby, I can tell you. Mm. Absolutely there is. Ramsay Bolton is going to get fed up with his dad being condescending to him. Telling yeah, him yeah. You made a balls that you're, you use Sansa like, it's like a, you know, a bloody, you know, a dog, a dog bone or something like that. She's now run away. We've lost all, we've lost our major card to play. Yeah. And, uh, and hopefully, you know, my new wife is going to give me a son who will be the new ruler and you'll be pushed aside. Do you think Ramsay's going to tolerate that? No, he's he's gonna you know yeah. Stay well, you heard he said it about the, was it his cousin that he was who was the one that was, the girl that was killed? Um, uh, was Miranda. He, ha- he tells the whole story. He's actually quite uh, sad. Um, Ramsay Bolton. As sad as Ramsay Bolton. Yeah, can be. as sentimental as we've ever seen Ramsay Bolton. Yeah. And he, he's stroking her hair and the corpse. You know, this is after Theon has pushed over the battlements over. Yeah. And uh, he says, you know, oh, we met when we were little kids and. You know, whatever. You, you were afraid of me, but she wasn't. You were afraid of me, and everyone else and was. So you go, oh, so you've always been a little bollocks. Yeah, that's 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 yeah. Dear, right? probably ripped uh, legs yeah. off spiders as well. Yeah, he probably, kid, probably yeah, did. Yeah. yeah, probably you know, kicked in telephone boxes and stuff. You know, and beat up old women. But he um, he said oh, that being said, he said all those lovely things. And, and then they said, should we uh, have a funeral pyre or bury her? He goes, no, she's good meat feeder to the dogs. Yeah, you know? she's oh, still right. good meat feeder to the dogs. Okay, yes, yeah. there we go. There's the guy we know and love. So, but the thing with with. Roose Bolton is going to be interesting to see because Ramsay is going to say, look, I might as well just stick a hot skewer up your ass, Dad, and get yeah. rid of you so I can just remain in, in charge because... Yeah, he know. is going to get it, yeah. I mean, there's no way, given that Sansa and his Reek... Yeah, he's called he is. Reek, isn't it? Reek, yeah, Theon Reek, is Theon. Reek, yeah. yeah. Well, he's, he's Theon now, isn't he? Let's yeah. call him Theon from now on. Come on, yeah. he's earned it. He's, he has, he's, earned, he has it. earned it, yeah. ish. But it has his moral compass kind of swung back in and he's liberated now and... Yeah, but if Ramsay came along and said to him, okay, you've been a bold boy, but I want you to, you know, I think he'd... Do you think he'd... Nah. He's that good? They could good? do that to us. They definitely could. No set of show writers are that sadistic that they would do that to us. Sorry. Like, first of all, first of all, they would let Ramsay Bolton near Theon again. And secondly, they would let Theon undo all the good work he's done and go back and be Ramsay's lapdog. They couldn't do that, could they? But but is that not like Game of Thrones? In the in the fact yeah, that they it is. Cersei had they have twisted us a little bit to go oh there's a little bit of humanity in Cersei, you know? Do we uh, for a while what, there we wanted to get Cersei and have her staked, but now we want Cersei to get revenge on all those priests who were bollocks to her. So that's when really, really interesting what happens up in Winterfell. Yeah, and um, and is Ramsay Bolton? How is he going to die? Because he has to die, and actually maybe he doesn't have to die. Maybe see, Game of Thrones. He, yeah, he is that bad. You need him. But isn't the whole thing now, isn't, because like the, the big elephant in the corner last night, as far as I could see, the big thing I was going, you know, well, where the hell was that was Bran. Yeah. Where the hell was Bran? Because Bran wasn't in any of the last season. We know he's going to be in this season. Yeah. We've seen him as a trailer. The trailer, yeah. So where the hell was he? Or are they well, waiting to say, we're just going to tie up all these loose ends the first episode. Now we're going to move on to Bran. Well, normally what they've done in the past going. is they might show you three or four storylines and then the next episode's three or four. Another different, yeah, yeah, sure. So yeah, yeah. I liked the fact that they covered so much. You know, they we, they gave us an awful lot last night. Yeah. Like, as opposed to just two or three storylines. They, they gave us like six, did they? Six different storylines. Oh, yeah, easily. Yeah, easily. But so Bran is about the only one left that they didn't cover. Then. The big thing is that there's, you know, whatever, 50,000 white zombies on the other side of the wall. Who wants to come in and kill him? Yeah, right. yeah. So that's the that's the big thing, you know. Yeah. It's sort of like, oh, I want to be king. Why I want to be king? That's uh, being king doesn't really matter if there's you know yeah. white zombies are are killing everyone. Um, so that's quite an important thing. Yeah, the white but, zombies haven't touched upon then. Yeah, no, but they're not called the white. What are they called? The White Walkers. The White Walkers. Yeah. yeah. So can you remember why um, Arya is blind? I can because at the end of the last season, Arya was. Commissioned, if you like, by yeah. Jack and Degar to kill a fellow who worked down at the Docklands. Yeah. While she was down there, though, she saw one of the Lannisters' Kingsguard 
and a real nasty bastard. Um, what's his bloody name? I can't remember his name. But anyway, she follows him to a brothel and yeah. she borrows one of the masks and she kills him in the brothel quite gruesomely and... Her punishment is that, is it? Yeah, so then, so after, after, you know, after stealing the mask from the temple, you know, the underground temple, yeah. going and killing this guy, even though it was completely justified, she goes back into the temple and Jacqueline Hagar goes, that wasn't your life to kill. You've stolen that life from the many-faced god. And so there must be, you, mu you must pay a price for okay, that. That's a, and so her, her okay. side's gone. But we see her with that other girl who used to work with her in the temple yeah. coming along giving her a stick and beating the crap out of her, basically. Yeah. And then she says, I'll see you tomorrow. So obviously it's going to It's training there. It's That's, training. Yeah. And she's going to kick ass because she's going to be learning all the stuff blind. blind so she's going to be like yeah. bloody super duper ninja. Yeah. Girl and the so the big thing is that in order for her to become somebody, you know, this powerful being, she needs to become nobody first and no one, nothing to the world. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah, own just everything like that you had, all that nothing. rage, all that revenge. Yeah. And that's impossible for her. Yeah. Really. She's going to, because you remember when, when we met Jack and Hagar, that character, um, yeah. and like he was just amazing it's just like you know you know he'd just kill whoever whoever he wanted he was yeah. like super elusive super skillful whatever uh, and so the idea is that probably that's going to happen to Arya yeah. uh, or something along those lines and it's again it's like the thing of you know is this the many faced gods plan you yeah. know is he the lord of light failing over here him not yeah. working with it, the many faced god his plan is kind of working and yeah yeah it's i mean it's an interesting show for all these reasons oh, you know, so these, much like and, and and regarding the lord of light you might remember that when Tyrion and varus walk around in uh, marion don't they walk into another red priest talking about the lord of light but obviously they're, yeah. they're saying the same religion as melisandre yeah that was so there was that reference too, as well yeah. So is is what the Lord of Light has shown those those prophecies, those visions, is that gone, or has it been like you know scuppered and debunked, or is there's more there, to come? If there is more, to, more come, to come, there has to be. Yeah. There has to be because there obviously is power there. We've seen what the Red Witch can do. Even Sir Davos says that he goes, you know, you haven't seen her do what I've, what I have yeah. seen. You know. Yeah. So Khaleesi, Khaleesi, Khaleesi is in the middle of the Dothrakis. She has been brought before the the Cal. Uh, Cal Drogo was her Why didn't she say anything in all the way you know when she was travelling all the way there with all the lads she didn't say anything until the moment she stood in front of the guy yeah, I don't know, don't know. because maybe she was afraid yeah. would you not be afraid probably especially if they were like you know eyeing you up these horrible guys yeah, yeah. but it sounds like <laughs> it sounds like they, she's going. She's in trouble anyway. I mean, the way yeah, they're going to left. Yeah, they're going to put her into the 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 widow's temple, which is obviously a place where a widow of any cow has to go and live out the rest of her days. Doesn't sound nice. No, it doesn't. No, in no, fairness, doesn't sound nice. And you notice she did a couple of looking to the skies. A yeah, little bit. yeah, yeah. Those dragons have not been very good to her, have they? No, I they seriously really, have let yeah, her down. I really have let her down. Yeah, they. Yeah. they okay, they they rescued her from the bloody fighting pit. And then they brought her, plonked her on a mountain, fell asleep. Out of the fire, and, uh, what's that expression? Out of the fire into the frying pan. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Out of the frying pan into the fire, one the other. Yeah, they're both but, pretty shit, but, like. Both pretty shit, like. You, yeah. Yeah. Not ideal, either of them, I have to say. No. Um, so that is going to be interesting to see what happens. So they have uh, Jorah, Friendzone, and Dario are, of course, trotting across the wide expanses to find her. They've got the scent, and now they need to decide what to do with it. I wouldn't like to go into a huge, big, you know, desert full of Dothraki. Yeah, I mean, we need we need the dragon here. We need Drogon now to, you know, yeah, get over his little teenage phase and get back in there. Just swoop in, grab her, and away you go. And there's see a you. scene in the trailer mm -hmm. which shows Tyrion going into the caves to find. That's right. Do you think Tyrion, being the intelligent one that he is, he releases going, the other two to go and find her? Yeah. Could be the case, yeah. I wonder what will happen like, if the two dragons turn up to rescue her from the Dothraki. Would the Dothraki just bow down and say, right, you are and join the true her. thing and join her? So, I don't know. That was another funny thing last night. Okay, so one of the one of the kind of, you know, gaggy, cheeky jokes last night was the sand snakes putting the spear through your man's head yeah. and uh, you selfish bitch, whatever. The other one was when the she's brought before the cow. And the cow's saying, you know, I will take off all your clothes and I will look at your body. It is the greatest thing that a cow can do. And yeah. the two lads have said, well, yeah, but also there's... <laughs> breaking there's a that, horse. Breaking a horse and, you know, <laughs> defeating an enemy or whatever it is. Or yeah, like, okay, so it's one of the top five. It's one of the, the top five, yeah. Which is like, it is that, it's kind of, 
uh, maybe that's it hasn't been there. there. Yeah. It has not been yeah, there. That's yeah, a new yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, to be fair. So, yeah, so they've yeah, obviously got, you know, there. Mr. Jokey Jokey in the, yeah. in the writing team now who's. Uh, <laughs> and uh, bring it on, to be yeah, honest. If, there's, uh, if they, they don't, don't overdo it. Could, when that was happening, that joke was happening, I was thinking. Is that really, are they really making a yeah, joke this moment? Yeah. Bring it on, but as long as they don't overdo it. Yeah. As long as they don't over ice the cake with it. But yeah. a little bit of that stuff. It is, just personality, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If it's if it's you know time and place and all that stuff. Um, yeah. But so as I said, a great episode, and I hope it continues in this vein because mm. I think I think the last two seasons have had their inadequacies. And I think it's time for the show to really start giving now to the audience. Not just trying to scare the audience or shock them or, mm -hmm. you know, just give them, you know, water cooler talking points the next day, but actually start giving back the good stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, the rays of light, the justice, the, um, you know, characters, you know, fulfilling their destiny, all that kind of mm -hmm. stuff that the the show doesn't like to give. Yeah. I, th I, think, I think Christmas time should come now. Yeah, well, I, I'd agree with you. And the thing about the books is he does do it, puts an awful lot of foundation work in in order to be able to give you these moments. So you're kind of, it's loads of building blocks and then there is something that happens, which is last night was that, like, it's the culmination of the last two seasons building to this sort of thing, I think. Then. Yeah, and I, I, think that, I think the show has, they've, they've been quite open about this, that it does this kind of, not quite a holding pattern, but a sort of, you know, setting things, using a season to set things up for the following season. Yeah. Yeah, they did basically say that about last season. They said last the this season five is just going to be setting up a few things which are going to kick off in season six. And that is what we're starting to see now. Mm. So... And you get the, the last thing, do you get, you must have had that, oh, I wish this was Netflix now, where I could just binge on this and have another three or four episodes, you know? Yeah, it would be kind of good, but sure, uh, you binge, know. like, yeah. Now, yeah. having to wait another week and, you know, just when we're so used to having things on demand. Yeah. Actually, you can watch it again and you can... Mm, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good now. Very good shit. Yep. So, see you next week. See you next week, yeah. Mm. Nice one. Okie dokie.